Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rap it like that. I'm gonna tell you a little something about myself real quick. So you know where I'm at. Yes, Mr. Beefy. I'm in the pussy cheese. I'll make a pussy queen. Fuck, she fall asleep. Yeah, this is all of me. I'm talking about all of me. That's what she know about it. It's the dog for me. So but, but, he get his head slit. You know who else wild strong? Paul Bearers. Cause they dead lit. <laughs> 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 You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification dog. <laughs> Yo. Y'all want to know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. He got smoked. Bruh. I'm on my way to where I'm on my way to, man. I just, I had got the notification from Caffeine that they was going to live stream Fonz versus Luke Castro. Salute to Fonz and salute to Luke Castro. Everything that they do, you know what I'm saying? Luke Castro from the Bronx. I'm from the Bronx too. Salute to the Bronx. Uh, salute to Cleveland. I've been one that's advocated for Fonz for quite some time. I felt like he needed bigger battles. I felt like even though he won the tournament, he wasn't getting shots and looks and bigger opportunities like that. I know he had a couple battles here and there. He battled JC, but I'm like, where are the names? Son, he battled... Luke Castro at Chris Brown's house. I don't know if Luke Castro made it out of Chris Brown's house, son. Yo, this yo, this shit was so crazy, son. Fonz. I well, I know Luke Castro had just battled on some madness versus Arsenal, whatever the case may be. And you know, it was a short time frame. Man, ain't no excuse. It's the highest level. Uh Fonz went crazy all three rounds, yo. Oh my goodness, yo. You want to know who else is wild strong? Paul Bearers because they deadlift. I was like, oh, oh, why is Fonz talking to this man like this? He had another line in there where he says something like, the, his mama going to be like, Troy, this ain't a pile of Malu, pile of Ma Troy, pile of Malu, like Troy is a smack. Oh my goodness, yo. Um, he he destroyed like like Luke Castro. I know it was a short time frame uh between his last battle and this, but man, Fonz was over prepared. He had another line saying oh, something about you can't hang in cast, hanger in cast, like your arm broke, you know, like when your arm you itch, you got a hanger in This shit was crazy, yo. Like I be telling niggas all the time, stop playing with Fonz. Luke Castro has some, he was too slippy, blippy, stumbly, fumbly in this shit. Slippity, ip, ip, the up, the ip, the ip. He even stumbled on like one of his slogans and shit. And I fuck with Luke Castro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like what he does. Uh, he's got revenge. Streaming on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? He just put out his tape or whatever the case may be. I got to check that out myself, but I'm plugging it. Shameless plug for y'all to see. Uh, but, nigga, today... Or as in a couple of days ago, he should have did like uh, Jordan Crawford when LeBron dunked on, when Jordan Crawford dunked on LeBron, he took all the tapes and shit and didn't let it come out. You should have never let that shit come out because Fonz went crazy, son. And he said something about, uh, something about the, the, the X, he, was, he had a line about the DNA, like all they going to have, oh my goodness, the X broke up, all it was DNA left. Fonz, Fonz leveled up. Uh, but I be wanting him to get that push, you know what I'm saying? To get that push, get that look, get that, uh, get that big, them big names, get them niggas. I think, so, like, I often think of Fonz as a, as a high level puncher, but he's got style, you know what I'm saying? Like, his punches is dope. A lot of people compare him to Av, so I see him having some of the same problems that Av has as far as, uh, getting names to want to come outside and battle you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's probably why he doesn't get all of the looks that he probably wants, because a lot of people are, I ain't gonna say scared, they just avoid heavy punches like that, because 
they're high risk, low reward. It's like, yo, if a nigga gonna punch my head off every every other bar, back to back to back to back to back, it's another level of writing that it takes to beat them. Uh, but Lou Castro is nice, you know what I'm saying? He got he got potential, he got a future and shit like that. But just this battle right here, this ain't gonna do nothing for his catalog. It ain't gonna help him out at all. Um, he had some moments scattered here and there. The crowd didn't really seem like a battle rap crowd. Like it was a lot of females there, which was a good look. It was, a, but it was a lot of females there. I think the, the count might have been maybe every five chicks, one dude, and it was a lot of chicks there that's probably like models and not really into battle rap. So like some of the reactions would be crazy. Like they'll react to something that we, as in like the niggas who really rock with battle rap, probably wouldn't have even reacted to. Like he said, like Fon said a line like. You know me, man. Uh, uh, no. Uh, what's his name? Lou Castro said a line like, "You know me, man. I'm one of the subscribers to your mother's only fans." And the chicks started going crazy over that line. Like, they probably had only. <laughs> I'm just saying, they probably had only. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But it was. Uh, it, it, it just it like, Fonz went crazy all three rounds. So just give. Let's. This is more so about Fonz. Lou Castro will be all right. He'll continue to get looks. He's got, you know, charisma. He's got the the the, the stage presence. He does the, it's the big Lou. Uh, Fonz also went on to say, what's the difference between a Ficky Ficky and a Whip the Pot when none of y'all got it from scratch? Y'all took it from Big T. You know, because Big T used to do the Richard, all that shit that Squirt, the Squirt, the Squirt, the Squirt, the Squirt, the Squirt, you know, shit Big T do, that shit. Um, he, 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 Danny said, oh my God, what's the use of whipping the pot if you ain't got the skillet, the skillet takes to, oh, Fonz, stop, 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 that shit is unnecessary, what's the, whip the pot if you ain't got the skillet, I didn't even want to do this at the crib, I'm on my way to go pick up my daughter, I'm like, man, I can't talk like this around my kid. I, they might call CPS. I can't talk like this around my kids. Because this was bad. This was nasty work. This was nasty work. In front of Breezy. Is your man on the floor? If he ain't, let me know. Because it was nasty work. I'm going to see if you can run it, run it. But it was definitely some nasty work. Fonz was handing out a 30-piece nugget with no, no Bev. No Bev whatsoever. 30 piece nugget, no Bev. Because Castro was stumbling and fumbling through his shit. I don't know if he was really prepared for it. I don't know how all, how long they got for it. Actually, uh, Fonz was supposed to battle against Danny Myers. Danny told me personally that he wasn't taking the battle because uh, they didn't give him much time. He said he found out when niggas dropped the trailer that they booked that shit. He wasn't going to do it. Like, he wasn't about to take Fonz in, like, a short time and shit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to do a real sick... He didn't want to get real sick again. And, Danny, you know what? You a smart motherfucker. Because if you would have took Fonz in that short of a time, your ass would have been getting cooked. <laughs> you would have fucked around and got cooked, my nigga. But like I said, I got a lot of admiration and respect for Lou. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the Bronx, et cetera, et cetera. But I gotta call it like I call it so I can't spoil it, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the one thing in order to break the riddle, I gotta call it down the middle. If Fonz would have cooked, would have got cooked, I would have called it the same way. But when that nigga and I ain't gonna lie, in Fonz first round, he was it was all right. It wasn't no I wasn't like all right, cool, you know, Lou Castro's round, he had some slippy blippies, but you know what I'm saying, it could be uh all right, we're gonna see where it goes. When that nigga said that shit about who else is wild strong to Paul Bearer because he deadlift, I said, oh, he's trying to take the top off the building. And these niggas was battling outside. I said, oh, he's trying to make a statement versus this nigga. And when that shit was done, I was like, yeah, yeah, buddy. Um, that shit was crazy. Like, for real, for real. No, no 2 1. No, we could edge somebody around, no shit like that. Fonz, three, zip. What DNA say? Streets need a body. The streets got a body with that one. Three, zip.
nothing different. I'm glad I caught it though, you know what I'm saying? Like I literally just happened to be out and about before I left the crib and I seen a notification. Matter of fact, somebody added me on Twitter and said they was about to air this shit. I said, oh, word? I said, oh, okay. Start hoping them, the back of my mind, I started coaching them. I said, all right. I peeped that shit though. Uh, you know, it's a loss. Niggas lose every day, B. He'll be all right. But, uh, nigga, you got tuned up something right. <laughs> nigga Foz caught him in traffic and parked him at the red light. He did him like Lonzo for fucking training day and shit. Uh, but Lou is good though, you know what I'm saying? He, Lou has a couple lines in there. He said, yo, you, you, you did a song with Ars. Why you ain't get, won't you call that nigga and tell him why he ain't post that pic? You know, when he said the shit, post that shit right now. Post it right now. The shit with, uh, what he said against Arsenal when he beat Arsenal. Lou Castro beat Arsenal. So that's what I'm saying. It's not a bad situation for him to lose to Fonz because Fonz was going to beat somebody anyway. Like, niggas was playing with Fonz. And I hope, salute to uh, ref, it's the ref, ref Nelson and all that, you know what I'm saying, and support and all that. Make sure Fonz see this shit. Y'all make sure he see this. I said, Nick, what, nigga, what? Make sure he see this shit. And let that nigga know. I said, keep your foot on the gas. You know? Why not? Niggas been playing with your food anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell him hurry in. Ooh, I see the beard flourishing too. Salute to everybody that watches this shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas keep keep rocking, keep keep on moving, and it is what it is. Uh, I got Fonz. Three, zero, one. Tell you a little something about myself real quick. Tell you know where I'm at. Yeah, it's Mr. Beefy. I'm in the pussy cheese. I'm make a pussy queen. Fuck, she fall asleep. Yeah, this is all of me. I talk about all of me. That's what she know about it. It's the dog for me. So give me your number, ho. It's a family summer, ho. Tossing her pussy, throw. All your muscles.